Hi there. In this video, we're going to learn to create nested styles in InDesign. Nested styles are especially useful for run-in headings. For example, you can apply one character style to the first letter in a paragraph and another character style that takes effect through the first colon. For each nested style, you can define a character that ends the style, such as a tab character or the end of a word. So let's learn how to do it. I have this document opened here and ready for you. I have also brought the paragraph and character styles panel on the screen. You could see that there are three products and their description and they are divided by a colon. So what I want is every time I type in the product name and move to writing the description, the product name should acquire a particular style and is differentiated from the description like we usually find in most of the situations. Let's select these three paragraphs and click the small plus button at the bottom of the paragraph styles panel to create a new paragraph style. Click the new style to change its name to product description. Now double click the style and go to basic character formats tab on the left. Update the font to Avenir and hit OK. Ensure that nothing is selected and then click the small button at the bottom of the character styles panel to create a new style. Click to rename the style product name. Next, double click the style and move to basic character formats tab and change the font to Avenir next and font style to bold. Also update the size to 11 points and then move on to character color tab and update the color to red and hit OK. Now that we have our paragraph styles and character styles all set, let's apply it to our target text. Double click the product description paragraph style. On the left, you'll find the option drop cap and nested styles. Click it and then click the new nested style option. From the drop down menu, select the product name character style that we created a minute ago. The option also says through one and then words. What it means is that we'd like to apply the character style to our target paragraphs through one word. So when you click anywhere outside of this box, you shall find that all the three target paragraphs will have their first word inheriting the character style. But that's not how we expected it to act because all of our product names are of two words. When you click the words drop down, you'll find a few options to choose from to cater to your needs. But I want to be very specific here. I want my product names along with the colon to be highlighted. One thing I can do is to change the number one to two words. And it for sure solves my problem. But what if my product name has three words or more? Let's change the digit back to one and then click the word words. While it's highlighted, press the delete key or the backspace key and then type in a colon. By typing in a colon, I'm instructing InDesign to apply the character style until the first colon in the paragraph. And now when I click outside of the box, our product names will be highlighted as per our expectations. So let's come out of this panel. Now, if I make another paragraph out of this paragraph by inserting my cursor and pressing enter, you'll find that the whole new paragraph inherits the character style, which is why it is all red at this point. Now, the moment I enter another name, so let's type in Alienware and add a colon, just see what happens. It follows the paragraph style as well as the character style, just as we expected. The only reason it follows the paragraph style is because we made another paragraph out of the same paragraph we had applied the paragraph style to. You see, it is not going to happen with this paragraph. Let's add another name of a product and this time let's make it a three word name. Now you see nothing happened to this one. It's only because we never applied the paragraph style to this. Even if we merge this paragraph to the one before this, as illustrated, you'll find that the paragraph style is still not taking effect. Let's select this paragraph and then click the product description paragraph style. And the moment you click it, it shall inherit the style instantly. So for character level formatting for one or more ranges of text within a paragraph or line, do make use of the nested style and I'm sure you'll fall in love with it. 
All right, guys, that concludes our session. I hope you've enjoyed it. So I'm going to see you in the next one in just a bit. Goodbye.